Hello everybody, welcome to the microbial world. Today I'm gonna talk on Maconchia plate. This is the first formulated microbial culture plate which was discovered by Alfred Theodore Maconchi on 20th century. Maconchia plate is considered as selective and differential culture media. So today in my lecture I will try to uh, find out the answer why the same media is uh, is called the selective and differential media in together. In that case, uh, first we have to know the composition of McConkey plate. Here I already included all the uh, components of McConkey plate. You can see here the list from the first you see the enzymatic digest of uh, gelatin oops digest of gelatin casein and animal tissue these are very much essential components because it provides amino acids vitamins minerals that is called the growth factors of these microorganisms on the other hand if we go to the next we can see here the lactose this is the significant component uh, for this McConkey plate also for the bacteria because this is the source of energy and carbon uh, for this uh, microbial species it is very much important here in this plate because all the bacteria especially the gram negative rods are not able to ferment the component lactose in this uh, bacterial plate that's why we can uh, differentiate uh, uh, the this gram negative rods into two groups based on the fermenting capability of this uh, component lactose first one is uh, lactose fermenter that can ferment lactose and another one is lactose non lactose fermenters and uh, the lactose fermenters bacteria if you see the plate here the lactose fermenting bacteria has the ability to change the color of the media from red to pink you see here the pink color and the non-lactose fermenting bacteria as they can't ferment lactose so they show color lace colony color lace colonies Actually, this thing is not always true. There are some exceptional uh, cases we can observe when we uh, see the plate for different types of uh, bacteria, for the diversity of the bacteria. But we will uh, try to explain it in our uh, later lectures. And uh, here I have uh, given some examples of uh, lactose fermenting organisms. You see, Cytobacter, Klebsiella. Hysteracea coli, all are the lactose fermenting organisms, but they haven't all the same characteristics in that cases. Because if we consider for Cytobacter species, if we grow this species in McConkey plate, then after 24 hours of incubation, we see that it shows the color less colonies that means after 24 hours of incubations cytobacter can't utilize uh, the lactose can break down it and that's why we can consider it uh, that time is the non lactose fermenters on the other hand if we observe the same plate after 48 hours of incubations for cytobacter species then we can see the light pink color uh, light pink color uh, for this species 
that means they can ferment lactose after 48 hours of incubation. This is the capability or characteristics of this cytobacter species. If we go down for Klebsiella species, then it also a um, lactose fermenting bacteria and it shows mucoid colonies uh, when we observe on McCone Kia agar plate. Estrecia coli, as we know, it's the model organisms and we have, I think we have enough idea about, about this species. And uh, it shows uh, good pink color, good pink color. It shows flat colonies, dry looks. And so these are the uh, colony properties of, sorry, these are the colony properties of uh, McConkey uh, on McConkey agar plate for, for E. coli bacteria. So these are the lactose fermenting organisms. Well, I have also included here some examples of uh, non-lactose fermenting bacteria to uh, compare uh, between uh, lactose fermenting and non-lactose fermenting species. Here you can see Proteus species, Shigella species, Salmonella species. These are the non-lactose fermenting bacteria. If we uh, consider about Proteus species, then uh, then we can uh, say that uh, it it is smell uh, is uh, is like very bad when we uh, when we open the lid after for 24 hours or 48 hours incubation lid. We consider uh, this uh, smell is a foul smell, and uh, for Shigella species, it it gives uh, a very sticky colonies to, uh, and give jagged edges. On the other hand, the Salmonella species, this also a non-lactose fermenting bacteria. There are also they show colorless colonies. There, uh, there are also some other uh, other uh, organisms uh, which is non-lactose fermenters. They give colorless colonies on McCone Kegel plate. Here you can see Morganella species, Providentia species, Edward CLA species. So all all gives colorless colonies when you go on McCone Kegel plate. So uh, from this, uh, from uh, this, uh, from these discussions, we actually can can say that why uh, uh, McConkey plate is called a differential uh, or cultural media, because because the based on this lactose fermenting capability, we have differentiated two groups: gram-negative raw uh, lactose fermenting routes and gram-negative non-lactose fermenting routes. And, and this actually this is the answer of, of these questions why uh, McCoon Gagar is differential uh, cultural media. So now we will go to the next bile salts and crystal violet. These two components has the ability to inhibit inhibit or interfere the growth of gram positive bacteria. That means gram positive bacteria have no resistance capability to protect it from the bile salts and crystal violet. On the other hand, gram negative bacteria has the resistance capability because their outer layer contain the bile and crystal violet resistance uh, layer. That's why they can protect from this uh, toxic substance. Uh, from this information, we can say why mm, why this uh, McCoon Kiagar plate is called selective. It because uh, it is only selective for gram negative bacteria, and gram positive bacteria can't uh, grow in this plate. That's why they are selective only selective for gram negative bacteria. And this is the answer of this question. Why McCoon Kiagar plate is selective plate. So I think we have already uh, un understood why McCoon Kiagar is plate is called both selective and differential. I hope you can understand here. And if you have any other questions, then you can also in the comment sections and I'll try to explain you.
now regarding this matter well now uh, we have two more components left sodium chloride and neutral red sodium chloride this is uh, called the essential electrolyte because uh, it provides uh, two things in this uh, micron cacao plate first one is the transport and uh, second one it gives osmotic balance osmotic osmotic balance okay neutral rate this is called indicator and it's red in color its pH below 6.8 and it has very much special functions in a uh, macron Kiager plate that means when any organisms are able to ferment lactose then uh, the then the pH uh, of this indicator is reduced and uh, change the this medium color uh, from uh, red to uh, pink mm, that I mentioned here uh, so so use of this indicator we can uh, actually uh, classify uh, these two group of bacteria based on the lactose fermenting capability finally i have included here the modification of macron kiager plate uh, that i think it will help you to know more about the macron kiager plate this is the uh, modifications of macron kiager i mean we can change macron kiager plate by including or excluding some other substances uh, from 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 uh, this macron kiager plate so why this is important why we will include or exclude uh, any components uh, from uh, from macron kiager plate it's because as we see there there are some components in macron kiager for example crystal violet bile salts lactose this helps to grow some group of organisms and some group of organisms can't grow there so the, the organisms that can grow here we still can able to grow in macron kiager plate if we exclude or include some components from uh, from this uh, plate for example uh, here you see the name sorbitol macron kiager sorbitol this is also a sugar component carbohydrate uh, in macron kiager we have used lactose but here we have changed uh, lactose uh, to sorbitol we will use here sorbitol instead of lactose that's uh, lactose for the for the carbon source carbon energy source of bacteria that's why this name is sorbitol macron kiager plate now why why sorbitol is important here it's because if we want to uh, isolate uh, a special strain of E. coli bacteria like E. coli 0157 then we can identify or isolate from this uh, sorbitol macron kiager plate by uh, seeing the colorless colonies of uh, E. coli 0157 because E. coli 0157 is not capable to uh, ferment uh, sorbitol from uh, this media so by this way we can identify sorbitol E. coli 0157 uh, from this plate I, uh, I have added here another example macron kiager without crystal violet it means if we exclude I mean eliminate crystal violet from macron kiager uh, remaining all the components as usual Mm, then we can see that some uh, species of bacteria for example staphylococcus enterococcus will grow there because this crystal violet normally inhibit the growth of staphylococcus and enterococcus so if we exclude this one then these two components will uh, allow to grow in this uh, plate but the uh, information of about macon kiager there are some other some more informations actually have but 
due to the time limitation i made this lectures too short so if you have um, any more questions then you can uh, tell it in uh, in comment sections i will try to respond it very quickly i uh, hope it would be very much useful for you and if you like it or or you can actually join our facebook group microbial world there we really exchange our thoughts with each other uh, about microbiology i hope it would be very much uh, useful for you if you join there and can share your uh, knowledge on microbiology thank you very much see you next time